Fort Worth fam, what is going on? It's Big Boss Fabo, Fort Worth Fabian, um, all that, the kid, all that good stuff. And I'm back with a video, man. And um, really, like, it's kind of special, right? The video special, man. Um, I used to do these kind of videos where I would put encouraging words out there, say, et cetera, et cetera, have specific topics. And they were all lost in the shuffle throughout my whole channel. So what I'm going to do is plug in my actual um, playlist. It should pop up right here. If not, um, it's going to be at the end of the video in the end screen. My playlist called Encouragement and Motivation. Motivation and Encouragement playlist. I have multiple you know, videos, vlogs, me expressing myself, me talking about real stuff. And by the time this video is uploaded, I may not even have all of my uh, excerpts or videos that I talk about these things um, actually put into that playlist. Because I got over 500 plus videos and now I'm going back through them and, you know, you know, optimizing them a little bit for um, YouTube performance, obviously, and for search. So I've been going through imagine going through like it's like 530 videos imagine go through like 530 videos one by one changing the descriptions adjusting the tags adjusting the titles adjusting the thumbnails putting them into a playlist putting them etc cetera, etc cetera, man so that's what i've been doing so long story short um check that playlist out i got a lot of material like this and before you guys get to this video hopefully i add as many of those videos in there so you can binge watch them go netflix crazy on them and just back to back but with that being said man you've seen the title and this video is about happiness man um happiness in general and just a conversation about what it is right i mean if you google happy it's this like it's a sense of like satisfaction essentially right like let's google it right now a sense of a, not even accomplishment but a sense of like arrival in a sense or temporary satisfaction is what i like to call it man that's what i call it but the official definition on google is a feeling of showing pleasure or contentment bro being content and um i wanted to talk about this topic because the reality of happiness and what that actually means and does it exist people chase a chase it for a whole lifetime man and me personally it's like what i've come to realize is that like you know through my faith and my belief there is happiness through christ there's happiness through god in my life that's not for everybody you know what i mean some people don't believe um some people have faith and confidence in themselves and they find happiness in you know material gain they find happiness in goal setting you know hitting milestones etc cetera, etc cetera. but the thing about happiness man that people this is the big point that i really want to you know start the video off with is that happiness is temporary bro you know i spent my whole life i mean i'm not my whole life i'm still living right I spent a majority of my life trying to figure out the little intricacies, the nuances of what it takes for me to get A to B, for me to get to in a place where I'm satisfied, for me to get in a place where I feel good about myself, for me to get in a place where I can, ah. but guess what? You never, ah, in life, man, it's never just all the weight off your shoulders. And, you know, I believe that, you know, my faith provides that for me. But in a sense, there's never a moment in life to where there's no trouble, there's no thought going behind a process, there's no time for, um, you know, relaxation, or there isn't a life where it's all peaches and sweet, no matter even if you are rich, swimming in a million dollars, man. But the point I'm really trying to make is happiness is temporary. You know, I spent time you know really calculating and evaluating what it would take for me to be satisfied with my life and i've come to a realization there there's not really anything except like a satisfaction comes from my belief and knowing that it's not all on me it comes from the man above you know i can't if i live my life worrying about what i would do next and if i was going to accomplish this goal and it, can i do that and you know because a lot of the things i want to do in life are things that people wouldn't see as nor as normal right i want to do extra extraordinary i want to accomplish big things big goals and some of that stuff can set take a toll on you especially when you in that process of reaching or accomplishing the goals you you give up sometimes you get down on yourself you feel like you can't do it and if you don't have a good support system you can completely break you can snap a lot of people have their family for that etc etc but i feel like there's a lot of things that us as human beings we keep to ourselves right we can't 
reveal everything that we um, desire to do or accomplish. Because guess what? Our our thoughts, our dreams, our goals, um, things that, you know, are unique to us aren't made for everybody else. So you can't share what's on your heart with everybody. You can't share your dreams with everybody. You can't share your aspirations with everybody because those aspirations are not for them. They will press or they will push their insecurities on you in a sense that saying you can't do this or that. So, you know, with that being said that it's like in life, you got to learn how to keep walking, keep going, et cetera, et cetera. But at the same time, it's like understand what comes with it. It's gonna, it's a give take, it's a push and a shove. It's like cause and effect, et cetera, et cetera. That like nothing is ever clean cut. You know, that's why they always try to say money don't buy happiness, et cetera, et cetera. Man, money, I mean, happiness is temporary, man. It's a feeling, it's a moment. You wouldn't understand what happy is if you weren't sad. You know what I mean? And that's cliche because they say all the time, you wouldn't know happiness if you didn't experience sadness. But it's true. Like the ups and downs in life is what makes it sweet, man. And that's the beautiful thing about it. You know, there's times where I felt so non-content or uncontent with what I was doing with myself. But I kept moving. I kept going and just realizing day by day, you know, piece by piece. Keep chasing, keep attacking. Happiness is something that you can acquire, but happiness is a mindset, man. And it's something that we all have within us. It's like, it, it's not something that we have to reach out and obtain. It's a, it's a choice to obtain it. It's a choice to live by. It's a choice to mentally re uh, configure your mind and reconstruct it in the sense that, you know, you're not going to get depressed easy. You're not going to let things get you down. You're not going to get frustrated or upset. Because me, man, I, I've talked about this in an old video, man. I've had my run in time with depression, man. And sometimes, like, I'm not medically diagnosed but i think that you know i i'm bipolar man I'm, I'm just i grew up in a family where we didn't really try to dive too much into mental health dive too much into um you know you know i guess western culture because you know i come from a very um like a a, a a very structured old school kind of background because my family you know i'm first generation my family's from africa you know what i'm saying like so with that being said man you know imagine their culture rules to live by um very strict in a sense and come into you know the western culture western civilization where medicine and you know practice things are more like tangible or more calculated they're more um i guess like material you know in a sense to where there's an answer for everything every problem can be solved versus like having a belief and hope and uh, um not really trying to limit yourself to feeling like it's all on you to do things and that carries you on through life so with that being said man i had my runs in with like being sad feeling like there's no way out man and that the things I was doing with my life weren't satisfying. I didn't feel like I was achieving anything. I didn't feel like I was going nowhere. I didn't feel like there was a future. But I choose I choose to believe in the future. That I, I choose to believe in what I can't see, man. That's faith. And I just keep going, man. And with that being said, man, happy is something you, you, you tweak your mind to. Happy is something that you wake up every day feeling and thinking and belief. And happy is something that, you know, you, you show through to others through good deeds, through, 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 through spreading peace, love, and positivity. Happy is something that you really got to um, understand can fluctuate because we aren't perfect. You know, we have feelings and emotions. And with that being said, happy is something that you always got to grasp. You got to always go get it. You can obtain it. It's in you. It's for you. But it's it, it's like you got to always set, set, set the mind, set the switch, set the time, whatever it is. Set your system to understand how it's played out, how it is, how it's going to be. You know what I said? You know what I mean? With that being said, man, I appreciate you guys. I hope all you guys are happy out there, staying blessed, staying content, cheerful, merry, joyful, um, you know, opportune, you know, advantageous, favorable, all that good stuff, man. Because, you know, you ask yourself, what is happiness? It's a, it's a state of mind. Happiness is with that, you know. In addition, it's it's temporary. Understanding how happiness works and knowing that it's fleeting, um, it's timely. Lets you understand how 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 to manage it. You know what I mean? How how to control it? How to guide it and use it? Um, you know, to your advantage. You know what I mean? That's all it is, right there. Think about that, man. What is happy? It's a mind state. And 
it is not forever. It is not. It is fleeting, man. So adjust your mind to understand how to maneuver, how to calculate, how to manage, you know, whatever you're dealing with in life. And understand in those moments in time that when stuff gets hard, we switch to happy. We switch our mental to, 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 to joy so that, you know, all, all, all the bad, the negative energy doesn't come subside and just collapse all the good things and that we've built up. You know what I mean? So with that being said, God bless. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on our Instagram and Twitter at Fort Worth Fabian. And um, to the next video, man. We out. Peace. I've been copping, yeah.